In this video, I'm going to give you five different ideas to help you improve your shooting at a faster rate. Number one, earn your skill level. And what I mean by that is if you want to be good at shooting, if you want to be good at anything, you have to be willing to put in the time and the effort. So many players just want to watch a video, they want to send me a message and ask me a few questions, and they think that that's going to make them better at shooting. Yes, I can give you ideas, other people can help you improve, but at the end of the day, you are the person who has to put in the work. If you look at professionals, the top players in the world, these guys who are scoring 50 goals a season, they're scoring hundreds of goals every day in training. They're taking hundreds of thousands of shots every single day. So when they show up on match day, shooting is natural. Goal scoring is natural. So if you want to get to that level, well, you have to earn that level by actually putting in the practice, getting to the field every day. That's the best thing you can do for your shooting. So stop looking for a, a quick fix, a magic button or a magic pill that you can take that's going to make you good at shooting. That's not how it happens. You have to put in the work and you have to earn your skill level number two train realistically I see this every time I go to the field kids are practicing what do they do they just hit free kicks for an hour straight and it's good to be good at free kicks obviously I want you to be talented in every way I want you to be good at free kicks it's great that you can hit a knuckleball but when you're playing in your game chances are you may go 90 minutes and never take a free kick so really what are you spending your time on i guarantee you in the match you're probably going to have five six different chances to get a shot off on net so you need to train realistically train shooting off the dribble off a turn after a move after controlling a ball out of the air train realistically and put yourself in situations that you're actually going to experience on game day this is going to allow you to have more confidence in front of goal number three use about 80 percent of your power especially if you're still learning how to shoot you're not a master at shooting yet the biggest mistake that players make is trying to hit the ball too hard and if you can't hit the net consistently it doesn't matter how hard you can hit the ball i say this all the time but still people miss this point Try to put, yes, I still want you to obviously hit the ball hard. You have to have a nice firm foot, flexed ankle. You want to put some pace on it. But use about 80% of your power and focus on getting the ball on net. If you can hit the ball on net, you're going to score goals more often. You don't have to hit a rocket into the top corner and, have, and go bar down or go post in. Okay, You just have to get it on net and you will score goals. So focus on getting your shots on target. And using about 80% of your power is going to help you do this more consistently. This will also increase your accuracy. Number four, figure out your flaws. So when you miss a shot, don't just move on. Try to hit that shot again. If you're practicing with a teammate, make him play you the same pass again and again and again until you can get that shot on net. Or if you are trying to figure out a certain skill, for example, when I hit with my left foot, I have a tendency to pull it across my body. So I'm gonna practice that shot. If I missed it, I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna do it again and again and again until I get the result that I want. I may have to focus on specific things, so the next time that that shot comes, I'm gonna get it on net. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes again and again like so many players do. On my right foot, a big thing that I do when I'm curling, I'm trying to do a curl finish, I'll hit it off the inside of my foot too much rather than my big toe. So that's something that I always focus on. And if I do make that mistake, again, I wanna get on that ball right away and try to figure out my personal flaws. So when you get those tendencies or when you get in situations and you're about to take that left footed shot or that right footed shot, you know what you specifically have to focus on so you do not make the same mistakes again and again. Number five, and this one sounds a little ridiculous, but it's so true, focus on your focus. And what I mean by that is focus on being more concentrated on what you're actually doing. When you're in the game, chances are, most players do this, they're not actually focusing on their technique of shooting. They're thinking about what their coach is gonna say or their teammates are gonna yell at them if they miss the shot. They're thinking about a shot that they missed before, an opportunity they missed before. They're not present in the moment. This is why so many players are good at shooting when they're by themselves at the field, but they can't replicate it in a game situation. It's because when they're on the field by themselves practicing, they're just focusing on the ball. They're focusing on their technique. But when they're in the game, all these other things pop up. So when you're shooting, focus on concentration. Especially when you're getting tired, you just snatch at the ball, you just swing your leg. You don't focus on everything that you've been working on throughout the week or leading up to that shot. So, so important that you're actually focusing on concentration, being 100% present in the moment. 